Are you so excited to go? Yeah? I know. Abby's session got canceled today at clinic, so she's been home for, like on the way to clinic, they called and said, right? That sucks. She's been home like an hour. She's been pacing. She's ready to go. That's a, this is a really, a really hard thing. Really hard to deal with, very challenging. When Abigail was younger, it didn't matter as much. You weren't as... Oh, I'm supposed to let you do your seatbelt. My bad. Mom's really good about that. Dad's not so much. Here you go. Seatbelt first, iPad later. Um, when you were younger, you were much less worried about a routine. But now that you're older, routine is absolutely crucial to your day. You can do it. What are you doing? Did you get it? No, you didn't get it. Put your seatbelt on. What are you doing? Do you need your clip? You do? You feel like you need your clip today? She hasn't been using her um, seatbelt clip. These things, by the way, absolute lifesavers, quite literally. And Abigail's gotten to the point where she will tell us if she needs it. She's like, hey, I have a tendency to push buttons because of like more OCD related reasons. And uh, I'm gonna undo my seatbelt, so give me my clip. Proud of you. Proud of you for recognizing that. A lot of days, most days she doesn't need it. She's not gonna mess with it, but. Gingerbread man. I've never seen you be eager to go into Lowe's before. <laughs> You're so funny. All right, okay, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay, okay, hold on. I'll get out and get you out. Hmm. All we need is dirt. Just dirt, right? Just dirt. Why are there so many choices for dirt? What's wrong? Are you leaving? Bye. We love you. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Have the best time. What are you doing? You're supposed to be leaving. Squeeze is fine. Gotta get that last squeeze before you go. Bye, kiddo. See you later. <laughs> Have the best time. <laughs> so I'm currently making uh, sourdough pretzels. That's what we're doing now. It's been requested. That's what this dough is. I'm excited about that. It's got to sit for like 10 hours though and rise before we can make the pretzels. We'll make those tonight. My family loves pretzels, soft pretzels. Loves them. I've been doing about a loaf per week of the sourdough, and it's, I, I'm so glad I didn't give up on that. I'm so glad. We left the house like three or four times, uh, four times, I guess, including, you know, summer coming to get her for um, for respite. And, and it's an absolute necessity. Like once we've gotten in motion where she's like going to school, you know, like that, 
that then has to happen. Like we have to go somewhere. It doesn't have to be to school, vocational program school. I'm just using the word synonymous, synonymously here, but um, it, it doesn't have to be to that location. It could be somewhere else, but she's got to get out and go. And I, I don't really understand that. I don't, you know, like we couldn't come home and do the vocational activities even or try to duplicate that in the house and it and it fill that need for her it doesn't work that way um she's got to get out and go so you know a lot of it she just likes going of course but she's you know if we drive 11 minutes to her clinic and that's then she's happy she just wants to get out and go somewhere but then on days when she doesn't have it she's fine then but we haven't set her up to you know set the things in motion to have that that routine. I'm very thankful that I have a little bit of freedom. I can move things around in my day and, you know, a lot of freedom and adjust things so that, you know, so that we can fill that need for her. Like, okay, well, I'll go to Lowe's today instead of tomorrow and, and run other errands that I need to run so that you can get out of the house. And, you know, you're not, uh, you're not having a, a really bad day because of that change in, in routine. That's something super important to remember for therapists and schools and stuff like when you have a significant disruption like that that makes for a very bad day um for for a lot of a lot of kids like that are very stuck in their routine um for those things if, if we stayed home you know she'd be okay she'd make it through and when i say make it through like it's not gonna kill her but you know she, it wouldn't be fun for her. you know she gets really in so what that looks like is she gets super antsy and very agitated um, easily she'll get upset super easy uh, you know we'll see behaviors and stuff like that and um, a lot of times like behaviors aren't like she's doing bad things that's not what I mean by behaviors I mean lots of fussing and you know potential for tantrums and stuff like that it's not a good day so then where do you draw the line right because like plans change and you have to build to to adjust to those those changes in plans. I guess if we planned a little more for those plan changes, then we could, you know, help her through that. But when it's a surprise to us too, we're like, oh, you know, we gotta, we gotta figure this out. How do we, how do we make her not have a, a crap day? Or maybe that's just not a, a battle we choose to fight right now. You know, just, why deal with that when you don't have to? I think a lot of people are very schedule oriented, you know, like I, if I have a disruption in my plans, like I have something set in my brain that I want to do, it will really bother me. Like it does upset me if I have to change my whole day or, or even, you know, part of my day because, because those plans have changed when I had set, like, this is what I'm going to do. So that definitely does bother me. Um, I, I can understand that. I'm not going to have a meltdown though like my day is not going to collapse around it i might be agitated a little bit but so that's the biggest difference that's all i've got to say about that we'll see you guys tomorrow bye